So I think another non-negotiable, and it's probably pretty high up there on the non-negotiable list for me. Yeah. Probably like with disrespect. Mm -hmm. is dependability you know i grew up in, in a house with my dad we called him superhero like he was literally like superman yeah and um he did a lot for my mom he did a lot for us and just seeing that type of strong man growing up like mm -hmm. it's no way that i can be in a relationship with somebody that ain't you know what i mean that i can't depend on exactly. yeah. right and mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that you have to be a millionaire mm -hmm. that doesn't mm -hmm. mean that you know, you have to be a mechanic, none of that, but it means that you're going to, you know. You're going to figure it out. Figure it out and exactly. have my back, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's somebody mm -hmm. that's going to answer the call. Yeah. Exactly. You know? If you say you're going to do something, then do, do it. it. Oh and if God, the time so frame important. changes, then you need to let that person know. Speaking of that, I'm sorry. Or if you can't do it, do it. say you say can't it. do it and get somebody let me, to do it. Let me tell y'all yeah. about this most recent experience I had with this guy, right? So I was telling the guy that I wanted to go hiking. <laughs> and he was like, okay, cool. He was like, when do you want to go hiking? And I was like, I mean, I could go this weekend. You know, this is something that, like I said, I already was going to be doing for myself, but he inserted himself into it. So it's like, okay, let's go on Saturday. So we plan to go hiking. Excuse me, and I'm talking to him up until the day of. Mm -hmm. And so that morning when I text him like, hey, it's like nine something in the morning. I'm like, hey, are we still meeting at 1130 at such and such place? And he never responds. Like, doesn't even say anything until, like, 2 o'clock. Communication. Communication. Until 2 o'clock later mm -hmm. on that day, and he sends me a text message saying that he had too much to drink the night before, and he's just crawling out of the bed, and he's so sorry, whoop, 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 whoop. And it's an understandable story, but you could have told me that when you were on drink number five the <laughs> night before, instead of waiting until two o'clock the, the next, next day. day after the time frame. And so that right there, I was just totally not attracted to him at all. And that was the first time we were ever even going to hang out. And clearly we're not going to ever hang out now because I just... It, or were you truly depending on him? You weren't depending on him because you were going to do that for yourself. I was going to do it for myself, but what I'm saying is show anytime, up. if you say you're going to do something, yes. then do you it. Saying show or, up. Oh or cancel within a time frame uh, so mm -hmm. that I can at least know and it's not this, you know, that's Last me. Last minute. Yeah. Right. But you uh, know what's crazy though? The people that attract people like that are the ones that you can depend on the most. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. most dependable people, people that, that like gonna be there when you call, like first one to show up, first one to check on you, usually attract the ones that are not dependable at all. They say mm. opposites attract. Yeah. I, I, don't know. Know. I better not <laughs> ever I don't want to meet any more any more men like that. Mm -mm. Like uh, yeah. That, especially when you talk about getting married to someone and there's no way I would get married to a man that I feel And I just thinking. feel like when I'm with a man, there's certain things that I want to call on him for. I don't want to always have to call my daddy, my brother, oh, gosh, my guy friends. I want to call my boo. Because if it. your daddy was real, your daddy was going to tell you. How, that <laughs> the man in your life. Right, okay. exactly. Speaking of that, I got another story. Oh. So I was talking to this guy, y'all, back in the day or whatever. And I was having issues with the vehicle I had at the time. And one day I was like on the side of the road or whatever. He lived in a different state. And so he knew my car was having issues. This man had been sending me coupons to like AutoZone or whatever place that he frequented and like bought parts. And I'm just like, okay, but like, if you see me going through this, the only thing you're gonna do is send me coupons. And when I was telling him how stressed out I was because it was impeding my ability to get to work, he was like, Nia, you have your 10 fingers and your 10 toes. Like, mm -hmm. never did he ever try to help me with any real solution. Mm -hmm. And then there's people that you meet that you're not even dating, you're not even talking to, you right, haven't even same. been mm -hmm. affectionate with these people. And they're just there. They're like, oh, Agreed. what happened? There are people that you meet that will automatically have a solution that will mm -hmm. say I know a shop or I take my car here or my cousin works on trucks or mm -hmm. if you're motorcycle but do you need... ask then that's no. what, it goes back to communication though because I think sometimes what we can do we 
Go back to reading mine. Now, you did throw this man a lot of hints. Yeah. It ain't no read. Like, he should have helped a little more. But B, he probably could have thought he was assisting with coupons. Uh, that's, mm -hmm. what I, that's what I'm But thinking. so, I think what, Because some you of know, them won't even do that. They will. I think what are say, damn, baby. Like, you, that's. You don't that's, have that's, rose out of system? <laughs> dang. Dang. <laughs> like, what am I going to do with a damn right. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, all, I'm all the way in another <laughs> state. Say, right. But listen, I told my old man. Well, not my old man. Hold up, y'all. Oh. I told I told somebody else that another gentleman that I know that about the same situation that I was going through issues with my car and he immediately cashed me. Yeah. You know, I yeah. didn't even ask him for anything and the money was sent. It was like literally while I was on the phone with him, he went on ahead and just cashed at me and I was like, golly, this man that I'm not even dealing, dealing with mm -hmm. is looking out for me and the person who I'm interacting with is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not adding up. If you're really intentional about a woman, then you're going to be a, someone who comes up with solutions. Just like if a man has a situation and I have a solution to that or I have a way that I can be beneficial and, like, help him, he may need me to, you know, help him process some... Pa no, I ain't going to help no process some solution, baby. They be the problem. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <man>. That's another <laughs> topic. <laughs> yeah, that, that might... That's, that's, that's another topic. That's another whole, and brothers, we're not trying to down y'all. That's not the message that we're trying to... To sing, because it both, works both it ways. It works both ways. There are things that women need to improve on, and there are things that men need to be men need to improve on. But we're speaking from our perspective, mm -hmm. and we date men, so that's who you know. That's who we most likely are going to use as examples and everything like that. Exactly. We want to hear from y'all. Um, what are your non-negotiables? Definitely get into the comment section. Let's discuss it. I think it's good for others to like share their perspectives because it just really helps us to all mm -hmm. learn, grow, you know, just understand people more. Um, so definitely make sure you comment. <laughs>